Is there anything that gets the blood pumping more than a good old fashioned alley fight? One on one, winner takes all, nowhere to hide. Hello everyone, welcome to one of the newest tracks in the game Bounty Drag Racing, the very tight, very unforgiving, yet also very fast, Texas Alley. For what promises to be an unpredictable and exciting event. We had more than a full field of nitrous, supercharged, turbo, and pro charger boosted pro street racers here, yours truly included, competing for bragging rights of being the baddest mofo in the alley, at least on this particular day. With each racer having just two qualifying attempts to secure a spot in the 16 car field, there was very little room for error if you wanted a chance to play in round one of eliminations. My best qualifying pass would come in the opening session where a 3.850, 187 mile per hour pass would hold on to be good enough for the number 5 spot on the ladder. The second and third quickest runs in qualifying came out of the side by side pairing of Frank Mollett and Omar. Omar's nitrous assisted pickup running a 3.819, good enough for number 2. Frank's supercharged Camaro, a 3.834, taking the number 3 spot heading into eliminations. Beast too tough and his nitrous assisted dodge pickup would wait to run last in qualifying and would take the top spot just one thousandths of a second quicker than Omar running a 3.818. Here's a look at the rest of our field today and you can see how everybody stacks up heading into the elimination rounds in just a few moments. Our ladder for this event is set up in a standard elimination tournament format with the number 1 and 16 qualifiers racing each other in round 1, number 2 will race number 15, 3 races 4, 4 races 12, etc. on down the line. The winners advance, the losers are out. Will you have a look at the first round pairings for today's action? Let me take a moment to remind you all, if you enjoyed this video, smash that thumbs up. If this is the sort of stuff you're into, subscribe to the channel for more. With all that said, let's pretend the anthem has been sung, and we'll jump into the first pair in round one of tonight's Street Fight in the Alley. Driving the supercharged Cutlass in the far lane is a number 16 qualifier, NOS 2871. NOS had some trouble lining up straight in pre-race testing tonight that didn't lead to anything good, but would eventually make it into the field using a nitrous combination in the car. In the near lane, the nitrous assisted Dodge is their number one qualifier, Reese Too Tough, and we've already seen what he's capable of in qualifying. Reese off the line first, to the finish line as well, running low ET of the event so far at 3.800 seconds. They don't actually leave as far apart as it seems there. Reese's truck just moves so much quicker through the first 60 feet that the gap is already several cars by half track. Good start for a number one qualifier. In the far lane driving the turbocharged Firebird is number 8 qualifier Will Power. Will comes in on the strength of a pair of 388s with his 388.2 in the final session the better of the two passes. Driving the nitrous assisted Fox body is number 9 qualifier Ethan. Ethan also ran a 388 second pass to get into the field, his 3.888 in the final session, his best pass so far of the event. Ethan first to pull in. Will taking his time. The red light comes on, the tree comes down. And Ethan takes it down the groove to 3.872 second pass and that will earn him a matchup with Reese in round two. Let's break that one down in editing. From the moment the first racer lights their stage bulbs, the other racer has seven seconds to do the same. If it takes longer than that, they're timed out and disqualified from the round. This timer started on the first frame that Ethan staged his Mustang, and as you can see, it hit seven seconds the exact frame Will finally pulls in. This triggers the red light and Ethan solos to the win. Will would have further problems of his own down track. Backing up in the supercharged Barracuda from Sheboygan, Wisconsin, Kansas City Cannibal. I'm just kidding, of course, I'm sure he's out of Kansas City. Gotta wonder what the restaurant scene there must be like, though. He would be one of many to find keeping it in the groove here a little bit tricky. His 3.929 in the opening session, putting him fittingly in the 13th spot. In the bright red Camaro is our number 4 qualifier, Lil Cookie Sweat. Cookie's gone pretty much down the groove every pass I've seen so far, and has gone a 3.835 best in qualifying. After flirting with the supercharged combination and testing, it'll be the nitrous engine between the frame rails here in round one. Driver staged. 
Cookie 009 on the tree. And it's snap time in Kansas. Cookie takes a 3.818 at 192 on to round two. When you give up more than a tenth on the starting line as the lower qualified car, you're probably going to get gapped. And that's exactly what we see here. Driving the dark red turbocharged Camaro, our number 12 qualifier in the right hand lane, I Lefty. Lefty's been getting down the track more runs than not. A 3.916 is best in the qualifying. In the black nitrous assisted Camaro, out of the number 5 spot, is Flash. Flash seems to have been sneaking up on the field after struggling in his opening laps to find a groove. He would make the field with a 3.838 in the opening qualifying round. Camaro's a pair, one on the bottle, one on the blow dryer. Lefty with the better of the two not so great lights, and that goes into the books as a whole shot win. A 3.845 takes out a losing 3.826. Lefty will move on and face Cookie in round two. You can see Lefty puts a car on flash right off the starting line, and an eighth mile is just not enough room to make up for that, despite running a couple hundreds quicker and six miles per hour faster. In a quarter mile, it may have been a different result. In the far lane, driving the turbocharged Cutlass, number 15 qualifier, Bandit 419er. Bandit had some trouble keeping it in the middle of his lane in the open qualifying session, but would improve and make the cut the following session running a 3.942 alongside me. The pretty purple nitrous assisted pickup truck is driven by Deep Stage Racing's Omar. Omar had some wild rides himself in pre-race testing, making at least a couple highlight real worthy passes for all the wrong reasons. He of course will get his shit straight enough to claim the number 2 qualifying spot coming into round 1. It's Bandit with a tiny hole shot. But no more, 3.814, mile per hour pass overcomes that easily and he moves on to round 2. You can see both cars make moves to the left of their lanes, and both drivers do a very good job bringing them back to the middle to make clean runs. That's how you do it. Out next in the far lane, driving the purple turbocharged Camaro, is Colin 7198. Colin's 3.900 second pass in the first qualifying session would be good for the number 10 spot. Looking for some improvement later, his next pass didn't go quite as planned. He'll be alongside the nitrous assisted Camaro of number 7 qualifier when legends fall, whose 3.855 in qualifying came in the very first pass of the opening session. Let's see who's got the better Camaro here today. Colin with a better light. But it's a nitrous car of when legends fall that keeps it in the middle of his lane and takes a win light running at 3.848 at 189 miles per hour. He'll go on to face Omar in the purple truck coming up in the next round. Colin had an almost 700 advantage off the starting line and held that until he lets the driver's side tires get off the sticky stuff. And he, like most others here at this track, just couldn't hold it from there. In the far lane in the supercharged Camaro is number 3 qualifier Frank Mullet. In case you're still not convinced about how tough this track can be, earlier in pre-race testing, Frank too would become a member of the Wild Ride Club here tonight, taking a nice little top end tumble in his Camaro. And the bright orange Pro Charge Firebird is our number 14 qualifier, 2 North 207. I didn't see anything too dramatic out of the Firebird during this event so far, but I have noticed a switch from a turbocharged combination of pre-race testing to the distinction of being the only car with a centrifugal supercharger here in eliminations. Let's see if that makes a difference. Frank off the line first, into the finish line first, taking a 3.900 into round 2. Okay, two things stand out for me from that path. First, he was late and he lost, but hats off to True North on his down track driving on that one. He had a lot of that car well outside the groove before half track and was actually able to reel it in well enough to complete a clean pass. In the other lane, if you wanted a visual demonstration of the difference between a low 0.38 second pass and a 390 8th mile pass, here it is. That tire smoke you see is almost certainly it. Our final pair of the opening round and it's my turn. I'll be taking on the supercharged Barracuda of Wasn't That Fun. Wasn't That Fun comes into eliminations from the 11th qualifying spot, making his best pass of a 3.910 in the opening session. Now, I'm going to shut up for a minute and take you along for a ride from Burnout to Turnoff.
I take the win on a whole shot, running a 3.867 to wasn't that fun's quicker 3.848 second pass. I'll answer that now. Yes, it was. That sets our ladder for round two. The pairings will be Reese versus Ethan, Cookie against I Lefty, Omar will take on when legends fall, and Frank Mullet will race me. Buckle up because things are going to speed up from here out. First pair of round two already coming to the line. In the nitrous assisted Fox body, coming off his defeat of willpower in round one, is Ethan. In the nitrous assisted pickup, he took out Nas 2871 in the opening round. It's low qualifier, Reese too tough. Drivers ready. Ethan with the better light. A great drag race. Reese comes from behind and takes his strike by three thousandths of a second, running a 3.800 at 193 miles per hour. Looking at the replay, you see just how close it was. If you ask me, that tiny puff of tire smoke from the Mustang is why Reese is going into the semifinals, and Ethan is not. It was that close. Red Camaro's a pair for our next matchup. Driving the turbocharged entry in the far lane is I Lefty. Staging up in the nitrous car in the near lane is Lil Cookie Sweat. Cookie ran a 3.818 to take out Kansas City Cannibal in the opening round. I Lefty used a 3.845 in a whole shot win over Flash. Drivers ready. Cookie with the great light. The lead and the win. Running a 3.822 at 192 to move on to the semi-final meeting with Reese Too Tough. That was a decent looking drag race. Cookie likely leaving a little ET on the starting line, but the nitrous car with more than enough to gap the turbo. Our next pair, driving the nitrous Camaro in the far lane, coming off a defeat of Colin 7198 is When Legends Fall. In the near lane, in the purple nitrous assisted pickup is Omar. Omar got by Bandit 419 in the opening round. Another good drag race. Omar takes a win by .002, running a 3.806 at 193 miles per hour to move on to the semifinals. When Legends Fall was off the line first in a puff of smoke, and that's probably what allowed Omar to be able to drive around with a clean pass. I'm going to shut up again and take you along for another ride as I take on the supercharged Camaro of Frank Mullet to close out round two. I got here by beating wasn't that fun, and Frank got here by getting around 2 north 207. Clean pass for me, a 3.850 at 188 miles per hour will be good enough to move on to the semifinals. Frank with some issues in his own lane and possibly mine. Here are the semifinal pairings. It'll be Reese taking on Lil Cookie Sweat and Omar will race me. The first matchup already to go. In the Nitrous Camaro is Lil Cookie Sweat and the Nitrous Pickup is Reese Too Tough. Ready? Set. Go. Reese with the better light and holds on to take the win running at 3.784, 194 to move on to the finals. By this point in eliminations, you expect some good side by side racing and this match lived up to that. Good race. Okay, take a ride with me yet again as I take on the nitrous assisted purple pickup of Omar for the right to face Reese too tough in the final round. My road to the semis included wins over Wasn't That Fun and Frank Mullet, Omar defeated Bandit Formula Niner, and when Legends Fall so far. I'll shut up once again and let you enjoy the ride. Omar will take his pretty purple pickup to the finals, overcoming my tiny hole shot with a 3.797 second pass. Good race, Omar, and good luck. That brings us to our final race of the night, and it should be a good one. In the far lane, he just ended my race in his Nitro Chevy pickup. That's Deep Stage Racing's Omar. In the near lane, looking to run the table here tonight, for TT Jones Racing, it's Reese Too Tough. Both of these racers made the first 3.7 second passes of the event in the semifinals, so this could be good. For bragging rights, it's a final round here in the Texas Alley. Reese out first. 
running the table tonight from low qualifier to winner circle is Reese Too Tough, running a 3.792 at 194 miles per hour, coupled with an 017 light to Omar's game, but late 3.824 at 194. We can see both trucks got off the line clean and smoke free, but when you give the quickest guy in the field more than a tenth on the tree, well, pass the barbecue sauce because this one's done. That'll do it from the alley here tonight. Congratulations to Reese Too Tough for a dominating win. Thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this. Until next time, keep it in your own damn lane.